Alright, welcome back guys, or welcome to your first time here. I'm Vision here with Blind Entertainment, bringing you guys another video. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys my thoughts and opinions on the Aftershock Comics August 2018 solicitations. Now, I would have done these a few weeks ago, but I couldn't find them on the Aftershock website. I was able to find them on a different site, so I'll have that linked in the comment section down below. So if you're interested in any of the other books that I haven't talked about, I'll have that link in the comment section down below. But let's get into the, the main books that I be, I'm interested in and reading currently from Aftershock Comics. So let's begin. So first, we got my honorable mentions, which include the Brothers Dracula issue 5, Her Internal Descent issue 5, and Relay issue number 2. Now, the Brothers Dracula and Her Internal Descent, they're just books I haven't gotten too into. They're only like the first two issues in, so I'm still feel, feeling the books out, seeing how I feel about them. And that's just why they're on my honorable mentions. I just am not sure how I'll feel about them in the coming months. As for Relay... I picked up the free comic book day issue that came out in May and it did pique my interest but I'm still not sure how I'm going to feel about it when it comes out in August and July. So that's why it's on my honorable mentions list because I just am not sure how I feel about these books. I, however, I do really love these covers. I love the purple coloring in the relay cover and I really like the pinkish kind of background for the Brothers Dracula and that kind of like wormhole kind of cover for her internal descent that those are these are three covers I think are really cool and I I much just see what they do with the story moving forward and I'll definitely be continue continuing to read them as long as the story's good but they're just on my honorable mentions list because I don't know how I'm gonna feel about them when the time comes and August rolls around so the Brothers Dracula her internal descent and relay are my honorable mentions for my August Aftershock Comics solicitations so first we got animosity evolution issue number eight now the synopsis for this issue reads as hostilities rise between the overworld and the underworld of the animals civil war pre prepares to break loose and annihilate everything they have fought to achieve now i'm very interested to see what they do with this issue with this issue because i feel like this could potentially put into play a big kind of war which i would be very interested in especially in the world of animosity i think this could definitely set up a, a huge thing that could like set off a chain of events and change the world of animosity as we know not just in evolution but in the original books as well i think it could definitely change everything and i'm very interested interested to see what they do with this book i love this cover probably one of my favorite covers of animosity evolution uh, to date N runner up with issue number one because i really love that one but i think this one is amazing with the spider on the cover and the red i love this cover one of my favorites i'm just so excited for this i know the latest one came out this past week i haven't gotten to read it yet but i'm very interested to see what they do with this book i think it's definitely a contender for one of the best books of in my opinion of aftershock comics animosity and animosity evolution i think they're two great amazing books if you haven't checked them out Definitely, I highly suggest you pick this book up at your local shop. Pick up trade. Pick up any kind of animosity you can find because I think you will not be disappointed. It's definitely an amazing book. So, Animosity Evolution issue number 8 is my number one pick for my August Aftershock comic solicitations. Next, we got... I'll Walk Through Hell, issue number four. Now the synopsis for this reads, Shaw has a story to tell, but McGrover isn't too sure if the if he wants to hear it with the utter depravity of Kang Han's crimes revealed the two agents begin to understand the nature of their predicament and things turn out to be worse than they could have um, could, have, could have guessed now this is an interesting book I read the first issue and I'm very intrigued by it I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about it moving forward it's definitely an interesting one I definitely think they do have another hit on their hand a lot of people do enjoy this book I just am not too sure I always give it a couple issues at least the first arc to see how I feel but I'm very interested to see what they do with this book the, I, the cover eh, it feels too bland for me but it just could be that I don't know what it's going to happen in the story but it just feels a little bit too bland and something that just doesn't pique my interest as much the the cover is just 
not as interesting as I think it should be, but I'm very interested to see what they do with this book moving forward. So A Walk Through Hell, issue number four is my second pick for Aftershock Comics, July Solicitations. Next, we got Baby Teep issue number 13. Not a synopsis for this book. Read the saga of Sadie Ritter and her adorable little house spawn continue as the search for Clark and Heather takes some drastic and deadly turns. What works in the crimson shadows of the red, the red realm? Probably nothing good, but you're all about to find out now i'm going to see what they do here i just picked up the latest issue and i but i haven't read it so i'm very interested to see what they do with this book i think it, this is a great way just by the synopsis alone to start off the new arc and i loved how we got heavier with clark on the cover i really like that such a really cool looking cover really captivating and really giving into the whole you know like the de- the devil and dark realm and stuff like that of like Satan and stuff like that. So I really like how they have that portrayed. And I just like the cover. It's really cool looking. And I can't wait to see what they do this with this book moving forward into the third arc. So Baby Teeth issue number 13 is my next pick for Aftershock Comics July, uh, August solicitations. Next we got The Beyonders issue number one. That is not for this book reads a young boy obsessed with crop circles and cryptology finds his boring life turned upside down when he discovers that all of his conspiracy theories are true, sending him on the ultimate treasure hunt for an ancient secret spanning thousands of years. Now, this has, this book doesn't come out till August, but I already am so excited for it. Just given the cover, the cover is so cool looking. It immediately grabbed my eye when I was looking through the different uh solicitations for august and immediately it was uh, when i read the synopsis i loved it i love the cover i think this definitely has the potential to be like the, the biggest one of the biggest things for aftershock comics right now i always say that they're these books either they heat up do do okay people know about that or they go through the roof like animosity and, and like baby teeth stuff like that but nothing really gets too big from aftershock but i feel like this has potential to be a great amazing book so definitely check it out if you haven't heard of it already look it up on aftershock.com check uh, check it out call your local comic shops so beyonders issue number one is my next pick for august 2018 so aftershock comics solicitations next we got dark arc issue number nine out of synopsis for this book reads the mother of monsters and that's more than just a figure of speech has decided to wage a war against Shrey's Ark. Shrey is a powerful sorcerer, but he's no match for such a legendary creature, especially when all of the beasts aboard his vessel are he- heeding their m- mother mother's call. Now, this is really cool because... I think this is something interesting to do with the book. Now, I haven't read read issue 7 yet that came out in a couple of weeks ago, but I am very excited for this. I can't wait to see where this story goes. I love this cover. Probably one of my favorite covers from the from Dark Arc or so far. I feel like each one gets better and better to an extent with the, with the exception of issue 6 that's probably the weakest one but i think this one probably is my favorite one so far first off you got the banner and like this green color i love that and you got shrey on the cover looks like he, they're showing a frontal view of him fighting this beast possibly so i think that's pretty cool i can't wait to read this this definitely is one of my favorite aftershock books and i'll probably I have some reviews for this coming out. I've just been a little bit behind on my comic reviews. So give me some time. I'll have my reviews up for a bunch of books. I've just been kind of having issues with them. Get, getting a vi- video and stuff like that. So give me time. i got a whole bunch of them coming soon. So definitely check them out when, they, when I upload them. But Dark Arc issue number 9 is my next pick for Aftershock Comics August 2018 solicitations. Next we got... The Lost City Explorers, issue number three. Now, the synopsis for this book reads, Hellcats, her brother, 
and their millennial teenage friends are running from mercenaries, hiding from monsters, and exploring the dangerous world of New York City underground tunnels. But will they find the mysterious supernatural doorway to the lost city of Atlantis? Now, I can't wait to read this book. The first issue drops next Wednesday, so if you haven't heard of it, definitely check it out from your at your local comic shop. It's by Zach Kaplan. I absolutely love this guy. I love everything he writes. Port of Earth, Eclipse, and now this is coming out. I can't wait. I'm so excited. He's definitely, if you haven't checked out any of his books, definitely check him out. I think he's definitely someone you should have on your radar. And I absolutely love this cover with the people, with the group running on the cover. And then you got the, I'm guessing that's the antagonist on the in the background chasing them. And I love it. So cool looking. I can't wait to see what they do with this book. I think it definitely, like I said with the other book, Beyonders, I think def- this definitely has potential to be a great Aftershock book. As long as they play their cards right and do some good stuff with this book. I think it definitely... Could be a contender for things like Baby Teeth and other books that are similar to that these kind of concepts. But I can't wait. So The Lost City Explorers issue number 3 is my next pick for Aftershock Comics August Solicitations. Next we got, I think it's called Volshin issue number 1. Now the synopsis for this book reads, In a not too distant future, artificial intelligence has spawned a race of robots that serve all of humanity robots are considered second class citizens but a few in the ai community are fighting back in a constant struggle for equal rights now i can't wait for this book i've there's a more synopsis on the website where I found these, and I'll have that linked in the comment section down below. But I really like this concept of the robots being second class citizens, and it kind of brings up some issues we're having right now in the world right now, whether you're for some of the things or against it. I'm not going to get into that on my channel, but I think this is a great way to go about doing it. I think I can't wait to, I think this could definitely be a great book for Aftershock with it coming up some issues about the times and stuff so i can't wait so volshin issue number one is my last pick for aftershock comics august solicitations so yeah guys those are my thoughts and opinions on uh, aftershock comics august 2018 solicitations now if you like any of these books and you want to do a review of them let me know in the comment section down below and if you have any books that you think I should check out for Aftershock Comics that weren't on this list, let me know that in the comment section down below as well. As always, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to share. And don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future reviews of Aftershock Comics moving forward. This has been Vision here with Blind Entertainment and I will see you next time.